Kamloops Blazers defenseman Olin Zellweger on the eve of the Memorial Cup opener. Uh, how are you guys feeling? How does everybody uh, feel to be back in the rink and getting ready to go to work here? Yeah, we feel real good. We've had, uh, we've had some time to prepare and, you know, kind of look back on what we can improve on. So it's, um, it's really exciting for us in the city of Kamloops right now. So it's going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, home ice advantage, kind of, you know, our own fans, you know, our old, our own building we're familiar with. So it's uh, it's an advantage, I think, and we need to to use that and uh, play our game uh, best we can. The start of the game is it's important. Yeah, for sure. Every every game, the start of the game is gonna be very important, especially the the first game of the tournament tomorrow. Um, we want to get off on a really fast, a really, really good start um, and that can uh, get the momentum going in our favor. Did you get the chance to see the Ramparts a little bit and, and what kind of team, what, what kind of challenge are they? Yeah, for sure. We've watched a video on their team, uh, like special teams, five on five, and, you know, kind of get a feel for what they might be like. Um, you know, so far we've kind of seen uh, they're fast, they got uh, guys who can uh, play really good offensively and uh, they got a good goaltending so we're gonna look to you know play our game and uh, that's gonna work against them it's you know just how we play is hard fast and it's gonna be a challenge for them. You, you know Nathan Gaucher you played with him at the World Juniors uh, he's a big physical guy do you expect as a defenseman battles with him? Yeah for sure it's gonna be competitive you know I know a few guys on that team him being one of them so once uh, the puck's dropped, and even now, you know, it's not really, uh, uh, we're not really, um, you know, talking or uh, being friends right now. So it's going to be competitive. And, uh, you know, after the tournament, maybe we can uh, talk about the tournament and the games and stuff. But for now, it's uh, all business. Well, when you uh, eat up a lot of minutes out there, I mean, how, how nice has this rest and recharge period been? I think it's been practicing hard as well. Yeah, for sure. I want I wanted to use this. Unfortunately, we got knocked out, but this is uh, our focus now is the Memorial Cup, and I wanted to, to really use the time to, to come in here and be fresh and be prepared to, to play a lot of minutes and play with a lot of energy. So it's, uh, it's, been work, it's worked out pretty good so far, and I'm feeling really good. You've, uh, you've kind of done everything uh, you know, that can be done in, in the Canadian Hockey League. Um, you know, what, uh, I guess how focused are you now on, on you know, competing in this tournament and, and showing your best here in this national championship? Yeah, for sure. It's huge. It's, a, it's such a great opportunity for, for uh, every team here and especially for our team, uh, you know, being the host and um, the 20 year olds on our team. It's such a great opportunity to, to just play our best, uh, leave it all out there. I mean, yeah, we got we got one once in a lifetime opportunity to to win this tournament, and you know we're gonna we're gonna play our best and put our best effort out there. Well, when the Anaheim Ducks tweeted a stat a couple weeks ago, um, saying that it was the first time in NHL history that one NHL team had the Defenseman of the Year from the Western League, the Ontario League, and the Quebec Major Junior League. Do you pay attention to just interesting little quirks like that? And if so, I mean, how does it feel to to kind of be part of that group and, and part of that prospect system with the Ducks? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, I've seen that uh, that post about the other uh, two leagues there. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool to see, you know. There's a lot of great players in the, the Ducks uh, prospect pool, and it's, uh, it's fun to be competing and, uh, you know, going to camp to them in the future. Uh, it's really fun to, to watch them, you know, you know, play their game and um, have success in their leagues. So it's uh, pretty cool. The, the Blazers, they paid a big price to, to acquire you. Yeah. Um, does, did that come with, with, with more pressure being traded in, in such a blockbuster deal? Yeah, I mean, the, I think that for sure that's one way to look at it. Um, obviously, yeah, I, I really wanted to win. Um, I think that's the, the biggest thing. We, re, re, we really wanted to win. So now we have another chance here to compete for this championship. So, um, you know, it, 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 it I don't really feel the pressure of that. I, I think, you know, it, it, there's another very, very good player, uh, Ryan Hofer, in that deal. So um, for us to both come here, I think we've had a positive impact on the team. Um, and, you know, uh, we're going to give the team the best chance to, to find success in this tournament.
what do you anticipate uh, tomorrow night when you guys step out on the ice, just in terms of the energy in this building? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be super loud. I think you know the playoffs was extremely loud, great atmosphere, and it's gonna be like that tomorrow night. I think you know maybe even more more uh, energy in that building since we haven't played for a few weeks, and uh, it's gonna be super exciting.